Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today we'll do some exercises in Roman numerals. We will learn how to convert Arabic numerals into Roman numerals and vice versa. I'm not going to go into too much detail as to what all the symbols mean and what all the symbols represent. We're just going to simply solve the problems one after the other. If you, if you feel that uh, you, you're getting lost or if I'm not explaining some stuff, it's important that you go, go and watch yesterday's video, day number 149. Today, today is our second, your second, second lesson in the series of two. It's important, as I said, that you watch day number 149 because that's where we learn the concept in detail. Today we're just going to do the problems. Okay, so let's get going. Here's the first one. D, C, X, L, V, 1, 1. What is this? What is this number? Let's find, let's find out, shall we? As you can see, D, we learned yesterday, stands for 500. D stands for D, the letter D symbolizes demi. Demi means half, half a, half a millennium. 1000 is the millennium, half a millennium is represented with letter D. In Latin, demi means half. So this is 500, 500 plus 100, so that's 600. Here we see a 10, a lower number, a lower number to the left of a higher number. L is 50. When the lower number appears to the left of a higher number, this is 50, so it's 50 minus a 10. This whole thing is 50 minus a 10, then we have a 7. As I told you, I wasn't going to explain too much, and that's exactly what I ended up doing. So if 500 plus 100 is 600, so it's 600, this part is 600, right here, and this part right here is right here, which is 40 plus a 7. So this is 647. This number that we saw here is 647. Let's do one more. 647, you will write it like this. Let's do one more. You do the next one. Let's you do the next one. 200. 217. Well, 217 is very simple, very straightforward. 200 is just simply C, C, that's your 200, 100 plus 100. And then 17 is simply 10, 5, 1, and 1. So how did the Romans write 200? The only way they knew of writing 200 is they would write it as 100 plus 100 plus a 10 plus a 5 plus a 1 plus a 1. That's the only way they knew of writing 217. Let's do one more. Tell me what is this number? L, X, X, V, 1, 1, 1. Well, L stands for L stands for five hundred uh, for fifty. X X is twenty, right here, and then seven. So fifty plus twenty plus seven. This is how you would write seventy-seven. This is how you would write seventy-seven. Just do one more. One hundred and thirty-four. Do it yourself. Pause the video immediately and do it yourself each time. There is nobody there stopping you from doing that, you will get more out of it. 134, do it yourself. 134 is very straightforward. 100 is C. 30, how do we write 30? 30 is simply X plus X plus X. And then the 4. We, oh, that's a 6. That's not a 4. That's, that's, that's the 6. If we want 4, if we want 4, we would write 5 and then 1 on the, on the left-hand side. So now it becomes 5 minus 1. If it appears to the left of it, if a lower number, if a lower number appears to the left of a higher number, this is 5, and if it appears to the left of it, we have to subtract it. So, 4. There you go. Let's do one more. 134. How about 537? You do it. 537. How do we write 500? 500 is half a millennium, that's, that's D. D is for demi, as we learned before, right here, 500. And then 37, you know how to write 37. 10 plus 10 plus 10, that's 30, and then 5 plus 1 plus 1. 37, 500, 500 and 37. Do the next one yourself. 1072, 1072. Well, how do we write 1000? 
1000 is very straightforward. 1000 is simply m. 1000 is simply m. And then 72. How do we write 72? 72 is going to be written as the 72 we're going to write that as 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1. This is the only way they knew of writing 57 or 72. 50, which is L, L, 50 plus 10 plus 10, X plus X, 10 plus 10 plus 50 plus 1 plus 1. There you go. There is your 1000, 1000 and 70, 72. This one keep on going. Next one I'm going to put it in the blackboard. You tell me what this number is. M, M, X, 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 1, 1, 1. As you can see, this is actually very simple, very easy. It's very awkward way of writing it, but it's very easy. M plus M, that's the 1000 plus 1000. M is 1000. M, as I told you before, M stands for Millennium. Millennium simply means millennium simply means a period of thousand years. Plural of millennium is millennia. That's the plural. Millennia means two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Plural of thousand. Millennium, millennia. So there we go. Two thousand right here. That's n plus n. That's two thousand. And then we have 30, 10, 10 plus 10 plus 30, so it's 2030, and then 3. It's 2033, 2033. Do the next one yourself. 2033, how about 3288, 3288. Should we do it together? 3288, 3000, how do they write 3000? The only way they knew of writing 3000 is a thousand plus a thousand plus a thousand, that's 3000. Then we need 200, which is going to be 100 plus 100. Then we need 80, 80 is going to be 50 plus a 10 plus a 10 plus a 10, that's 80, this is your 80. And then we need 8, which is going to be 5 plus a 1 plus a 1 plus a 1, that's your 8. This is your 200. This is 200. And this is 3,000, 3,288, 3,288. As you can see, it's pretty long. It's very annoying. It, the bloody thing is very annoying, very cumbersome, very laborious. Let's do one more. One thousand nine hundred forty-seven, nineteen forty-seven. How do we write it? 1947, we're going to write that as 1,900. How do we write 900? 900 is going to be 1,000 minus 100. 1,900, 40. How do we write 40? 40 is going to be 50 minus 100. You see? This is, this is 900, which is 1,000 minus 100. And this is 40, which is 40, which is 50 minus a 10, because it appears 10 appears to the left of it. 40 and then 7. 5, 6, 7. 1947. One last one. We're going to close, we're going to close this video with the year of independence of the US. 1776. It is a fluke, it is a pure coincidence that, that as I speak of the year of independence for the US, today as I speak happens to be the 3rd of July 2014, tomorrow is their Day of Independence, July, July 4th. So, so, 1776. How do we write 1776? Well, let's find out, shall we? 1776 is going to be 1000, which is M. Then we need 700. Then we need 700. How do we write 700? 700 is going to be 500, 500. Oh, that's not 500, that's 100. 500, how do we write 500? 500, right here. 500 is D. D stands for, as I told you before, maybe I did not. D stands for demi, which is a Latin word for half. They use letter D to represent half a thousand. M is a thousand, half a thousand. Half a thousand is D, which is their 500. So, 
500, we need 700. We don't need 500, we need 700. 500 plus 600 plus 700. Sorry, 500 plus 100 plus 100, that's your 700. This is your 1000. So, so far we have 1700. Then we need 76. We need 76. How are we going to write 76? 76 is going to be written as 50 plus a 10 plus a 10. That's your 70. And now we need 6, which is going to be. There you go. There we go. 76, how do we write 76? 76 is going to be written as 50 plus a 10 plus a 10 plus a 5 plus a 1. As you can see, 50 plus 10, 60, 70, 75, 76. 1,500, 100, 100, 1,000. So essentially what they're, what they're writing is this. 1,000 plus a 500 plus a 100 plus a 100 plus a, plus plus 50, plus 10, plus 10, plus 6, plus 5, uh, plus 1, 5 plus 1, there you go, 1776, that was the end of it, I'll see you tomorrow, okay, bye now.